So it sounds as though you would have a bearish setup on the euro. So let's take a look at your chart on the euro against the dollar in terms of a specific trade idea. And this is pretty interesting to me. This is a two-year chart, too. This is a two-year chart. And what you see here is you saw that the euro had a peak here in September, came back a little bit, and then peaked again in February. And this is the front month contract, correct? Right. This is yes. a front month contract. It's a rolling contract. This rally here fizzled out. And if you take a look at what happened on Thursday of last week, we actually call that a volatility alert. That mm. move was a three standard deviation event compared to recent volatility in terms of the trading range mm -hmm. of this. What that means is pay attention. It means right. something's going on here in that direction that you need to be aware of. And we also had, a, we had that long break of the trend line so what we see here is, is trading right near the bottom of this range. I think it comes back to you a little bit into about the 117 range or mm -hmm. so. I think that's a good place to engage on the short side. Okay, so you would be selling the euro futures uh, starting around 117, and your target is 108, maybe even lower. You're telling me earlier 104 if you're going to get greedy. It is because that's where you have a longer-term congestion zone uh, going back several yeah, but years. Right back there. Back in there. 120 stop. Pat Nimber of uh, Renmac, thanks so much for taking the time to join us for charting futures. Pleasure. It's time for Charting Futures, where we dive in. So uh, this impact is interesting because when it comes to cryptocurrencies, they obviously uh, talk a lot about volatility. And uh, if we start to see hyperinflation, which we haven't seen any inflation really uh, because the central bankers have done a great job of preventing that. And uh, if you keep wages low, that should also prevent inflation. So it really, one of the most attractive things about crypto, which you don't see in developed countries like the United States and most first world countries is uh, rapid inflation, but you do see it in third world countries like Mexico, well, not Mexico, but uh, a good example is Venezuela. And if you have a chance, I would definitely check out, David Hay has made a video, a uh, YouTuber on crypto about uh, the use case for cryptocurrencies for countries like Venezuela. And um, and like I said, so uh, unfortunately right now we have a pretty flat market and uh, it still seems like we're in a bearish trend. But like I said, if we can see major inflation starting to enter the market um, in the euro and the US dollar, I can see uh, just not cryptocurrencies going up in value, but I do see precious metals like gold, silver, um, Commodities, we've kind of already seen it. Oil prices have begin, begun to go, uh, gone up. So um, it's a wait and see approach. And if it does happen, then maybe there will be some growth in the crypto market. Now, if inflation stays low and the central bankers continue to lend money at low interest rates, I do see crypto prices staying pretty flat and not really moving until we have some economic uncertainty. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.